Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. T'as vu le, le, le tonneau là-bas Ouais, c'est bon. Là-bas, ouais. So today I, yeah, I, want, I want to tell you about being against globalization doesn't mean that you are racist, okay? And that's very important, you know, because uh, there are so many people, uh, oh, you're just racist, you're just racist, and, and this is so easy to label someone a racist, okay? I, I can see very clearly that globalization is a huge failure. Maybe someone who comes from China doesn't see that globalization is a failure, because, yeah, he, was, uh, he didn't have anything to eat, life was difficult, but when you live in France, you have everything. I mean, you have a beautiful country, you have the land, you can have all the food, you'll never starve, you, you have everything. So why do you want to be for globalization? What for? Of course, there's always the elite, and these guys, financial elite, these guys, they always have uh, more and more, and they can have properties, and they have, okay. Now that's a tiny percentage, you know? So all the rest, all the other people that we have uh, uh, here, the French people, they should all be against globalization. And when you are, once you are against globalization, it doesn't mean that you are against migrant. It doesn't mean that you are against black or against Asian or that you are racist. No, I love everyone. I love Chinese people. I love Asian people. My wife is Chinese. My kid is mixed. I, I like some aspect of the Chinese culture, some aspect of the Asian culture. I appreciate it. It's not my culture. I like to travel abroad in foreign countries. I, I'm not a racist. I don't care that you are black or white or whatever, you know. But I am for the local communities. I am for the local communities because I know globalization means race to the bottom and the end of mankind, you know. And, and it means the great reset and the social credit system for all. And in my opinion, there was some other choice, but we were never given the choice. And the other choice, and globalization was chosen. Some people will tell you globalization, there was always globalization. Even in the Middle Age, there was globalization. Even in the Renaissance, there was globalization. There was always... No, I don't think so. There was, no, there was always the trade. Yeah, there was always the exchange between people. There was always the business. But people would live in local communities. People would consume local, local goods, for goods, for most of it. They would consume local goods. So, no, I don't think there was always globalization. I don't think globalization was uh, uh, the logical path of mankind. I think it was a choice. It was a choice of a society, you know. So, yeah, yeah I'm against globalization. I'm against um, the social credit system, global cro social credit system, Great Reset. Um, and I'm against the race to the bottom. I am for the local small communities. And it doesn't mean I'm racist. I'm not racist, you know. Something more that I want to tell you is what I went through and I lived in China. And I know many of you, you went through the same things and you understand me. But unfortunately, most people, they don't get it because they didn't live there. So I, I didn't live in the Middle East. I don't know it, how it is in other countries, but I know how it is in China. And I can tell you, Chinese culture is really unfair. Chinese culture is racist. If you are white, you will be perceived in a certain way. If you are black, you will be perceived in a certain way. You will not be equal. It's really unfair. This is a racist culture. Yeah, Chinese culture is a racist culture. I, it's race-related race race-related culture, race-shaped uh, culture. That, this I can tell you. I can tell you uh, Chinese culture is mach machis, macho. It's ma man first and woman must follow and they must obey. Okay, that's how it is. I can tell you... Uh, T'as vu le, le... pas l'oiseau le, là-bas La pie, là. T'as vu la pie I can tell you um, that uh, Chinese culture is a nationalist culture that will put me first, my, my race first, my family first, money first, okay? Um, when... Et voyez, la, la, la semaine dernière, il est là tous les mercredis. And wh when I was there, in China, I have to uh, accept all this. And I have to suffer from all this because it's the choice that I, I took. I, I, I took this choice and I said, okay, I will be there. I will be there. I will go to China. I, I have this choice in my life. I said, okay, I will try. I will try it. I could have gone elsewhere. I could have chosen Russia. I could have chosen New Zealand. I could have chosen to stay in my own country. But in a, in a way, 
because they're cr crazy, you know. But okay, they are free to believe whatever. They want. Oh my God, he's talking. He will spread us with Corona. Did you see? <laughs> the one, okay. They, uh, everyone have their own belief. Huh? So uh, just that it, it impacts you, you know, because you live in the in society. So you have when uh, 20 people believe this way, believe for that, and be impacted. You know? So yeah, and uh, yeah, I can tell you, uh, my trust was also limited because yeah, we are in the global world, and my trust was limited. Quoi, Paul? Laisse-moi terminer et après je suis à toi. Où ça Là, au petit, ouais. Oui, vas-y, vas-y. Uh, so, uh, so that, that's what I want to tell you. And my kid wants to go there, and of course we are going there. And, uh, and then, um, after you live through all this and you find out I cannot stay in China, cannot get the visa, everyday people label me, everyday people point me out. I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy. Someone who lives in South, a white guy who lives in South Africa, maybe lives the same, it's even worse because he can be killed any day, any time, he can be murdered, okay? His staff will be taken from him, and, but that's also the same in China, you know? <laughs> like all these uh, foreign businesses uh, went there and they went uh, cheated, they were cheated, bankrupt, they were, yeah, okay. Uh, so that there's no win-win. That's how it is, okay. And then, uh, then you have to accept all this, and then you have to, to say, okay, these guys come in your own country, and then you know that they're coming with the same state of mind, and they will never be able to change, or maybe they will be at the individual level, but mostly not. They will not be able to change, and then you have to accept these guys, you know. And then if you don't, if you start talk, talking what I'm telling you, then you are, uh, oh, you generalize, or you are racist, or whatever. It's nonsense. Come on, it's just the truth. Uh, why is it taboo to discuss culture? Why is it taboo to discuss culture? Okay. No, I don't get it. I don't get it. And you know, uh, the, the funny thing also is, um, even when you are in France, you can see most Chinese people, either they will be CCP people, so praising CCP, faut tirer, Paul, il faut tirer. Either they will be uh, Falun Gong. And when you think about it, the two, uh, the, the two are the same. The two are the same. Uh, you know, Falun Gong is the same as uh, CCP. You know, Falun Gong is the same as CCP. You have uh, the system that will be kind of pyramidal, like a sect, and, and that's the behavior, and it's the same. So you have all these people praising Falun Gong. Okay, maybe it's good because they say, oh, they uh, freedom and all, but they all follow the same mold. You know, it's the same, it's the same way, it's, it's the same pattern, you know, it's the same uh, way of thinking. So it's a bam, bam, bam. Well, anyway, uh, I'm. Uh, yeah, that's very difficult to get this out of your system. And me, I managed to get it out of my system. That's not the issue for me. I'm okay, you know. Uh, but I can tell you, so many foreigners, I know, maybe some of you, the subscriber, we can never, first of all, you will live through something and then you try to explain it and nobody knows what you are talking about, you know. It's kind of someone who, you know, sometimes I think like, you know, the Jew or the guys who has been in concentration camp, then they come back after the war, then they come in front and it, they, nobody wants to talk to them. When they talk about this, nobody can understand what they went through. And when they try to explain it, I mean, it's something that people cannot understand your, the reality you went through. And of course, we all have our life experience. I cannot understand, um, maybe there's some black guy, or I cannot understand how he lives, how he, how people are toward him. Maybe he can tell me, oh, it's like this, it's like that. Maybe I trust him, maybe I don't even believe him. Maybe I don't trust what he says. And I can anyway not understand what he says, you know? And, and that's why it's so complicated. You, you face people and the, the thing is, I know that this is coming and I'm telling them, look, this is like this, this is like this. And they just simply cannot, grab sips, they cannot understand it uh, because you have to go there to understand it. Okay. Well, it's funny, there's many coach, so sport coach, so this guy is sport coach, yeah. Okay, and take care, I love you all, everyone. I think uh, the quarantine was very good for the sport coach because they can, uh, yeah, if I had my son, I would tell him, okay, every Wednesday you go there, you get the sport coach and you can train, okay, yeah, maybe. Uh, okay, I love you all, take care. <laughs>